There are two websites where we can install the scene builder for our drag and drop user interface development of the Java FX application. We can either get it from Oracle or from Gloom. However, I would recommend you go to the first website, Gloom, to get the scene builder there because the one at Oracle is not so rich in some of the components. So we'll go to both websites and see what they provide. You can get a Java FX scene builder from Oracle, but it is relatively less rich compared to the scene builder which is available at Clone. So we come to Clone, we go to download, which platform are we using, and we download that. So you download and you install. So once you are done with the installation, you can go to the installation directory and you run it to see if it works or you can go to the start menu and run it from there. So we run it to see how it looks like. So this is how the scene builder looks like. We'll come later to learn more details on it and use it in developing our Java FS application. So once it is running, we can now link it to our Eclipse IDE, which we'll be using to modify our Java FS applications. So we close it and we go back to our Eclipse IDE. So after installing our scene builder, we need to link it with our Eclipse IDE before we can use it to modify our FXML files. To link the scene builder with the Eclipse IDE, we need to go to Windows and we select Preferences. Under Preferences, we would see Java FX. In Java FX, this is where we we'll decide what we want to be used in modifying our FXML files. So the scene builder, we need to specify the directory. So we simply browse to the directory where the scene builder has been installed and we look for it. So we look for the scene builder. This we select it and we click open. If we want the Java FX SDK, we can do that as well. So we apply and close. Now this means we can open our FXML file with the scene builder and work on it directly. So we simply go to the FXML file, we right click and we select open with scene builder. So it opens and we have our button and the label as well. So we can modify our anchor plane and reposition the locations of our button and the label. So we can do that and we save it. So we save it. We go to our Eclipse IDE, go to the project, we refresh. and we run our application. Now we can see the location has changed. So we can see there is a warning and that is because we are loading the FXML document of a higher version with the Java FX runtime version, which is lower. So it's just because the two versions are different if you have the Java FX runtime version 11, then you would not see this warning. So that is it. We have been able to link our Java FX scene builder on the Eclipse IDE.